Okay, welcome back to a video, the a series of videos on process specification. This is the final uh, video yeah, uh, of the topic and it will focus on decision tree. Yeah. So, you will, we will uh, at the end of the uh, video, you will be able to know how to draw a decision tree. So first of all, what is a decision tree? Decision trees are used when complex branching occurs in a structured decisions. Okay, so what do we mean here by complex branching? Okay, one of the thing is that the, 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 in order to, to, for a decision to be made, yeah, in order for a, an action to be taken, yeah, you might need to follow certain flow of uh, conditions. Okay, so, uh, so the, the, the conditions, yeah, the flow of the conditions are considered uh, complex, which, yes, it can be written using structured English by using if-else, by including the if-else structure. But uh, if we can uh, represent it using a visual, yeah, using a diagram, it will be made easier to understand the logic of the decision. Okay, so we represent it using a tree, a decision tree. Yeah? Trees are useful when it is essential to keep a string of decisions in a particular sequence. Okay? See, this is one important point of when you should you use decision tree. Yeah? You use decision tree when you have uh, a, a complex branching yeah and another point important point is it is very important for you to keep the string of decision uh, uh, to follow yeah? the string of decision that follows a certain particular sequence okay so if this is a situation then present your process specification using decision tree rather than using structured English or decision table. Okay. So advantages, the order of checking condition and executing action is immediately noticeable because this is a diagram. You can easily understand yes, diagrams. Okay. Conditions and actions of decision trees are found on some branches but not on others. Yeah. Compared to decision table, decision trees are more readily understood by others in organization. So I would say even the very uh, the non-technical people, if you show them a decision tree, they will understand the, whole, the logic of the process. Can be easily understood. Rather than if you give them a decision table, they might have to understand yeah? because remember when we talk about decision table we have the four quadrants each quadrant would represent something so if so, and not every not everyone can understand or to read able to read a decision table but i believe yeah most people yeah if not 100 percent, i would say 98 99 percent yeah of readers would be able to understand understand when you the the logic have that happen on a decision tree so how would like how would a decision tree looks like this is an example of a decision tree we have notes that to reflect action and we have sorry not to read notes yeah circle yeah, so here, yeah, na, na, uh, the the symbol that that is round, that is a circle yeah, on this diagram, the circle represents the uh, the node of con conditions. So usually, uh, how many branches that come out from a node from a circle? Usually two, because you have condition either one or two. You can have more than two. Okay, so once again, it all depends on the complexity of the decisions. Um, 
So uh, identify. So whenever you want to draw a decision tree, the first thing is to identify all conditions. Identify all actions and look at their order. Yeah, which which condition to should be tested first? Yeah, which condition to be tested next? Okay. So you need to look to 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 determine the order because by identifying this, you, then you will be able to build the tree. So how do we draw a tree, a decision tree? This is a lying de decision tree, not a standing decision tree. Yeah, so. Uh, you start off with building the tree, so you move from left to right. So you start off with a node, yeah. From the node, then it will you produce uh, branches from it. Okay, so each branch would would indicate the condition. Okay. Uh, if let's say in this example, there is uh, after condition one, a certain action would be taken. After that action being taken, then that it is followed by another two conditions to be chosen. Yeah. If condition three is chosen, then action stated in under action two at node four would be taken. Otherwise, yeah, um, condition four would be followed and uh, end up with uh, action uh, three. Yeah, represent shown on. Um, Note four would be taken, yeah. So, so uh, build the tree from left to right. Make sure you list all possible alternative before moving to the right. Okay. So this that's why it's very important to identify the the needed uh, condition, yeah, in order to build your uh, decision tree. Okay. So let us look at one example here. So this is a policy for premium airlines accumulating miles for awards as explained by Glenn Curtis. Who is Glenn Curtis in this example? Glenn Curtis is a marketing manager. So this is about uh, rewarding yeah, uh, awards for customers. So, so it says here, yeah, uh, the policy yeah, says traveler who will be awarded the miles uh, actually flown if the actual mile for the leg was less than 500, so this is one condition. If the leg is less than 500, so what action be taken? Traveller will get 500 miles of credit. So that's how you go about in uh, when you are given uh, a situation yeah, in identifying uh, the, the, the condition and action. Next, it says here, if the leg was exactly uh, or more than 500, earlier is uh, if the leg was less than 500. Now, if the leg was equal 500 or more, yeah, then the trip and the trip was made. So another uh, with this condition plus another condition which, which it says that the trip was made on Saturday, the actual mileage would be multiplied by 2. So that is the action. If the trip was made on Tuesday, the multiplication factor is 1.5. If this is the ninth leg travel during the calendar month, the mileage is doubled no matter what day. And if you're seventh leg travel, the mileage is triple. So, so by, by identity, once you have identified, we have identified several of them. So this would be the decision uh, tree produced. Okay, so mileage for leg less 500, so say credit 500 months. Greater equal 500, and then next condition it is on Saturday. Is it on Saturday? If it's yes, double the mileage. If it's no, we ask for another question. Yeah, another condition is that is it a Tuesday trip? Yes, no. Yeah, if yes, uh, is a uh, uh, 1.5 times if no if it's not a Tuesday trip we check for, for another condition yeah. uh, is it a ninth leg in the month if yes double the mileage if no it's a 17th leg yeah, and so on so uh, then 
so you can see yeah, the that this uh, the problem here it has several um, the, the 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 condition yeah the decision making is a uh, is more complex it has certain so many uh, conditions so many actions to be taken depending on the sequence of conditions okay so uh this next slide eh, is actually uh showing the a set another second solution to the same problem given just now yeah um okay so now it's your time to try out yeah so um checkpoint three yeah requires you to produce a decision tree based on the problem that have been the same problem that have been given in the decision table Okay, so the same prob the problem is about uh, related to Enche Amir's uh, office reimbursement policies. So why don't you try it out? Yeah, and see uh, how a decision tree can be developed. Yeah, can be produced uh, based on the same problem. Right, so. Uh, so we have come. We have seen several uh, uh, three, yeah? uh, three different uh, method of presenting process specification: structured English, decision tree, and decision table. So basically, yeah, from what I have mentioned yeah, in the videos in the previous and this particular video, we we can make some. Um, Conclusion in terms of when to use what. Okay, so for structured English, yeah, I said it is well suited to model process with many sequential steps and relatively simple control logic. However, it is not suitable to describe complex uh, decision logic of few or no sequential processing steps. So this technique is complementary with the FD to design a mini spec for certain process element of DFT. A decision tree and table is used to summarize complex decision logic more concisely than structured English. Yeah, it is easier to describe the branch logic by using decision tree rather than decision table. Yeah, once again, these techniques are complementary with your DFT. Yeah, when you have uh, your certain uh, when importantly used to design a uh, mini spec for certain process element of DFT. Okay, so in this table, it uh, presents a summary. Yeah, uh, when to use a structured English when you have many repetition action and when communication to end users is important. So advantages can useful when many actions are repeated and when communicating with others is also important. As for decision table, when you have complete, complex combination of actions and rules are found, and so and you require a method that effectively avoid impossible situations, redundancies, and contradiction. Uh, advantages, it provides complete analysis of complex situation while limiting the need for change attributable uh, to impossible situation redundancies and contradiction while the third decision the, the third method uh, uh, decision tree when the sequence of conditions and actions is critical and when not every condition is relevant to every action whereby by then you produce various different branches so it's important when proper sequencing of these conditions and action is critical. So I would say between the difference between uh, whether to use decision tables and decision tree, if proper you uh, the the decision is uh, based on, uh, it's very important to for, to follow the 
sequence, a proper sequence of conditions and actions, then use decision tree. Yeah. Um, decision table uh, can be used, yeah, especially when there are no proper sequences of this uh, condition. Yeah. You can, uh, meaning that uh, you don't need uh, to start with one specific condition. Yeah, before you move, you, you combine with the next, the second, the third condition. So if you have this situation, use decision tree. Otherwise, you may use decision tables. Okay. So this is your... Uh, consider this as your homework yeah, for checkpoint 4. Yeah. Uh, check, this particular question in this checkpoint four was take, is taken from a final exam uh, for session 2016-2017 uh, question uh, related to um, process specification so you are required to produce process specification um, Uh, where if say okay the question A is uh, you are to construct uh, an optimized decision tree yeah, to demonstrate the logic conditions and action sequence of process flow in calculating the total payment okay so this is uh, an example of um, of a, a process specification question um, when asked in uh, exams okay so try it out okay and check your answer with your lecturer thank you very much